dear students today we will see the next part of tally that is multiple ledger in tally we can create single ledger and multiple ledger even sometimes there may be a questions how we can create multiple ledgers or how we can make the modifications with the multiple ledgers multiple ledger is a concept by that we can create many number of ledgers under one head called groups that means by using one group we can create many number of ledgers in single ledger we have to create ledgers one by one but in multiple ledgers at a time we can create many ledgers and the step wise method is step 1 switch to gateway of tally screen step 2 select accounts info option step 3 select ledgers option step 4 select multiple ledger section then step 5 select create option step 6 select the group name in the under group field step 7 type list of ledgers one by one and then step 8 accept the changes by pressing y or control plus e okay this is how we can create multiple ledgers now we will see how to display multiple ledger okay so the step 1 same switch to gateway of tally screen step 2 select accounts info option step 3 select ledgers option step 4 select multiple ledger section then step 5 select display then in the step 6 it will ask for the group name first it will ask the group name of which group you want to display the related ledgers then in the step 7 it displays all the ledgers related to selected group okay that is to display or alter ledgers multiple ledger step 1 switch to gateway of tally screen step 2 select accounts info menu step 3 select ledgers option step 4 select multiple ledger section then step 5 select alter option now we will take alter here step 6 select the group name in under group field then step 7 it displays all the ledgers related to selected group then we can modify any ledgers ledger names you can modify or you can cancel any ledgers step 9 accept the changes by pressing y or control plus e now we will see demo on all these concepts so creating displaying and modifying ledgers now we are in the gateway of tally screen the first step is switch to gateway of tally screen select accounts info menu in that select ledgers in that select multiple ledger section there are two section single ledger multiple ledger select create then it will ask for the under group option in under group select the ledger i'll take indirect expenses okay even you can take some other maybe we can take bank accounts okay i'll take bank accounts now i'll take syndicate bank account under bank account maybe sbi sbi account again under bank account so then maybe idbi bank account so in this way we can create many ledgers under one head by using 
multiple ledger concept. Then accept the changes by pressing yes. Okay. Now, second method is how we can display multiple ledger. Same switch to gateway octali screen. Select accounts info. Then select ledgers. Then in the multiple ledger section, select display. Then we can take bank accounts to display the ledgers related to bank account. Even if I want to make some changes, then it's not possible to make changes here. We can display. Only we can display the ledger by using display. In the gateway of tally screen, select accounts info, select ledgers, select alter in the multiple ledger section then select the bank account now we can make the changes okay so in the multiple ledger it's not possible to delete that we will see here maybe i'll delete this one and i'll press enter again if i press bank account it will show this indicate bank account that means in multiple ledger we can create we can modify or we can display. Deleting any ledger is not possible. So to delete ledger, you have to take the single ledger. Creating voucher type or customizing voucher type. So already there are 18 different type of vouchers in tally. We can change those 18 types of vouchers but in the new tally there are 22 types of vouchers but we will take as per the books of your syllabus so there are 18 types of vouchers step 1 switch to gateway of tally screen step 2 select accounts info option in the accounts info now we will select voucher type to display voucher type menu then select create to create new voucher type or alter or modify or to display that means if the questions are creating voucher type you can use the same type of steps but at the step 4 you can change maybe you can take select create to create new voucher type Select alter to modify, select display to display. Okay. And in the step 5, type new ledger name under name. If you select create, then type the new ledger name under name. Select group name in under option and opening balance if available. Then press enter or control A to accept. Okay. So we will see the demo of all the options and again I will explain that one. In the gateway of tally screen, switch to gateway of tally screen, step 1, step 2, select accounts info menu. In that you can see options, groups, ledgers and voucher type. Now select voucher types. Now first we will display. So select display. Then you can count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There are 18 different type of vouchers by default available. Now we can go for create. We can create new vouchers called invoice. Okay, or we can take sales invoice. Sales invoice. Then type of voucher. We have when we are creating new voucher, we have to take under any one of the basic voucher type. That means I want sales invoice just like sales that we have to indicate. Okay, now 
create sales voucher just like same as sales voucher abbreviation maybe you can take said then method of voucher numbering by default when we there is a sales voucher there will be automatic numbering you can change it like manual numbering okay now press enter prevent duplicates if one is entering one voucher number again don't take that same number that we can make by using prevent duplicates yes then use effective date for voucher yes we can take make optional as default leave those thing use common narration yes whether you want narration at the down or for each accounting entry you want the narration that you can specify here use common narration narrations for each entry then go on pressing the enter print after saving voucher that means whether you want to print automatically after creating the voucher that means after creating the voucher at the end it will ask print yes or no then it saves the voucher okay so that we can activate so we'll not select anything whether you want to do some declaration like some rules or things you can mention for the sales invoice okay now sales invoice is created we can check it out by using display same way switch to gateway of tally accounts info voucher types then display you can see there is sales invoice okay that we created equal into sales then alter you can modify or if you want to make some changes the same method but only thing is alter then it displays the list of vouchers in that we can select our voucher now we will see the effect of it go move to accounting vouchers okay when you press sales button or f8 okay sales button it will give two voucher names sales and sales invoice sales is default one it is tally sales voucher sales invoice what we have created okay enter you can see here this invoice number i can change i can mention like rgc/0001 okay this is possible as well as you can specify the company name okay while creating that is possible by using voucher class okay in tally there is a option called voucher class that we will see now so in the gateway of tally screen accounts info voucher types we will alter that sales invoice okay select the sales invoice then take sales invoice sales manual okay <coughs> you can make it automatic hmm. use advanced configuration yes here we can take yes and we can mention starting number 1 width of numerical part 4 okay minimum 4 i want that i can specify even for the one we can take width of numerical field is 4 refill with 0 yes that means specify 0001 0002 like that way that means always show the width as four digit then applicable from maybe from first april okay starting number is 1 even you can yearly you want to change the voucher numbers then it is possible by this method restart numbering then prefix prefix details maybe as i said i want rgc slash every time or even i want to mention the year 2020 minus 2021 rgc slash 
2021 even you can mention in that way as short 2021 then press enter it's applicable from applicable from 1st april here you can mention rgc slash or minus 20 rgc slash 20 minus 21 We will press the enter. Okay, now we will see how it appears in the voucher entry screen. In accounting vouchers, we can see sales invoice that is with RGC slash 2021, but directly it is showing 0001. That means we have to take one more slash here. We will make that change. Accounts info. Voucher type, alter, then go to sales invoice, then go to automatic use advanced configuration, yes. So here we can take RGC slash 2021 slash, okay, enter. One pressing the enter key, save this one, then again more to Accounts info, voucher types. I'm oh, sorry. Now move to accounting vouchers. Then in accounting vouchers, we can see the sales invoice RGC slash 2021 slash 0001. That means we can create bill number type by using our own creating our own invoice okay when you press f8 it will show two options sales that is normal one and if you press f8 and again sales invoice it will show the created voucher type thank you students today we have seen multiple ledger and how to create voucher Thank you. God bless you.